hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this tutorial we will design our signup.php file and in the previous video we designed this signin.php file so for our signup.php file uh, we will first create our create new file and we will save this file in the main folder my chat and uh, the name of this file will be signup.php click save and uh, if we back to our uh, the signin.php file we will just copy all of this code and just paste it on the signup.php file and now we will uh, make some changes so its title will be changed to let's just say create new account and this one will be changed to sign up we will create this sign up.css file in this video okay so don't worry and uh, this one will be also changed to sign up this one will be also changed to sign up and then this one will be changed to I will just remove all of this code and I will type that fill out this form and start chatting with your friends and that's it and now if you just scroll down we will uh, we will just copy this div and paste it above the email change uh, its label to username its type will be text class will be form control and the name will be changed to user underscore name plus placeholder will be example and then ali share which is my name and uh, r to complete will be off and it will be required and after this uh, username we will uh, add this password so we will just cut that password from there and paste it between the username and the email and so it will be the same password and uh, its type will be also password and uh, we will change this name to user underscore pass placeholder will be password and that's it and after that we will uh, we will require the email so we will just uh, type over here email email address type will be email placeholder will be form placeholder will be someone at site.com and the name will be changed to let's just say user underscore email and uh, all the things are fine and after the email address uh, we need to get the user country so I will just copy this email div the whole div and paste it down below give some space and uh, the div class will be form hyphen group L label will be changed to country we will remove this input type we will type uh, that select and uh, inside this uh, select tab uh, or tag you can just say that its class will be form hyphen control name will be equals to user underscore country and then it will be required and inside this uh, select tag we will uh, give uh, the uh, give uh, the user some options to select his or her country So allow me to type that option So I will just pause this video and type all the options and then I will show it to you So this is the name of uh, some countries and the first option will be disable on the first option we will uh, uh, show the user that select a country and then he will select the country in between this choice is okay so 
after this country we will uh, take the user gender so for that what we will do is to just uh, copy this uh, country all this country div and just paste it down below change this label to gender and uh, its name will be changed to user underscore gender it will be required the first one will be disabled and uh, we'll just type it uh, select your gender and uh, and I will now just add uh, some options so the first one will be male female others and I think uh, after this uh, gender we will just create a you can say a checkbox uh, and we will uh, allow uh, we will show the user some text that I accept terms or, or use of this uh, of the privacy policy and all of this so let me just show you how we will done it so first we will open up a div and the div class will be form hyphen group and we will open up open up a label tag its class will be checkbox hyphen inline and inside this label tag we will open up a input type input type and its type will be checkbox okay and uh, it will its name will be its name will be let's just uh, say that we will remove this name and uh, we will just type required that's it and over here I will just type I accept the and then we will open up a link a herf and uh, it will be equals to hash and then uh, I will just close that a herf tag and inside here I will type terms of use and then we will type amp and after that we will type we will open up uh, another a herf tag it will be equals to hash we will just close that a herf tag and inside here we will type privacy privacy and then policy and I think that's it and after this uh, label tag what we will do is to create a button so I think we already just uh, create this button okay we will uh, remove this forgotten password and then click here and uh, the diff class will be the same its type will be submit and the class will be also the same and then its name will be changed to let's just say that sign underscore up and we will remove this in and we will change this to up sign up and I think that's it and uh, for now we will uh, change this name to sign up underscore user we will create this uh, sign up user and also this uh, sign in user dot php file in the upcoming videos so guys don't worry we will create all of that and uh, now we will just uh, need to change the this name we will just remove this don't have an account we will just change this to already have an account and this a herf will be equals to sign in dot php and then we will just remove this create one to sign in here and i think that's it 
and now let's just check this sign up.php file and after that we will just design this sign up.php file uh, quickly so let's just check this so save this and if we open up our browser and uh, let's just uh, click here don't have an account and here is our sign up.php file okay so don't worry guys we will design this uh, sign up.php file really quickly so for that what we will do is to create a new file and the file name and the file will be saved in the, into the CSS folder and its name will be sign up.css over here here is our sign up.css and what we will do is to copy all the code from this sign in.css file and uh, we will paste it on the sign up dot css file the body will be the same font uh, form control will be same all of this will be same and if we just scroll down we will just uh, change this name to sign up and this one also to sign up and this one also sign up sign up this one also sign up and uh, sign up sign up come on man sign up okay that's it so i think all of it is uh, fine and the one thing we need to design is the checkbox okay this uh, this checkbox where is it uh, this checkbox okay so for that what we will do is uh, after the this label over here we will just uh, type that sign up uh, hyphen form and uh, then we will type uh, input brackets and type will be equals to checkbox and inside here we will just type uh, margin hyphen top will be 2px that's it so i think all of our css for the sign up dot uh, file is now done and let me just check over here okay we just changed the name to sign up css so now let's just uh, refresh our sign up dot php file so guys here it is our sign up dot php file and this is looking amazing beautiful okay so the user will provide his username password email address country and then his gender and then here is our little checkbox okay and if the user will have already have an account then he will just click over here that sign in here and he will be promoted to the sign in dot php file so guys the word uh, design for the sign in and the sign up dot php file is uh, now completed and in the next video we will do all the php codes for our sign in and the sign up file so thank you guys for watching and subscribe our channel coding cafe